Good morning, Eastsiders. I pray your Monday is going well. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to share God's Word with you today and excited about what we're going to be talking about this week. So last week we talked about siblings. It seems we're going there a little again. Uh, I want you to think about the friends you had growing up. Did you have some people you hung with? I imagine that unless there were really different ages, you might have had a group of friends about your age, and they had siblings about the age of your siblings. So in the first chapter of John, the writer, who might be our character this week, tells a story about two younger brothers. Simon was the older brother, and Andrew was the younger brother. Brother James was the older brother, and John was the younger brother. Sometimes older siblings boss, not mentioning my sisters or anything, sometimes younger siblings kind of rebel when they can. So for whatever reason, Andrew and an unnamed disciple, that's how the whole gospel talks about it, were following John the Baptist. You can read about it in chapter one. But then... John the Baptist, two days in a row, says, it's not about me. And you can read that in John chapter 1, beginning with verse 29. Read the word with me. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I meant when I said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but the reason I came baptizing with water was that he might be revealed to Israel. That's through verse 31. Then in verse 35, he says again, the next day, John, this is John the Baptist, not John the disciple. John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, look, the Lamb of God. And what do young people sometimes do? They change horses. Verse 37, when the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, what do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they spent that day with him. It was about four in the afternoon. Come and see is a huge part of the Gospel of John. If you were with us in church yesterday, you heard Mary tell Jesus to come and see where Lazarus' tomb was. That demonstration and that experiencing request is something that's, that's central to John. But I think the author of this book, or at least the one who told the stories in this book, might have been that kid brother. And I think sometimes our passion puts us in places that are dangerous and exciting and different. And so John was following John the Baptist with his friend Andrew. They were trying to find something they didn't have. And when John the Baptist two days in a row says, look, there's the Lamb of God, you need to be following him, they left John. So in your life, are you willing to go somewhere you haven't been before? Are you willing to do something you haven't tried? Are you willing to change so that God could use you? I invite you to join us this August as we're trying to fire up our faith in our world. Make sure that you're praying for me, our leaders. We have a board meeting tonight for our church and its ministry for our community and world. Make sure you're in a group of people who are helping you follow Jesus better. Make sure you're letting the word and prayer change your life. And make sure you're working to help others follow Jesus better. If we lead others and let God lead us and put our hearts and our lives in God's hands, we might end up changing the world for Jesus. Join me in that challenge. Have a wonderful day. We love you.